Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Madan again. Today in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how we can use Nlog to uh, store our log messages to our database. In the previous video, we used Nlog to store the log messages to the file and the color console. And in this demo, we are going to use the database. So here we have uh, two targets here, target uh, name file and the target with color console. Now in order to store the our log messages to the database, we need to add the third target here target and then we can give it a name of uh, anything let's give it a name of database after then we have to specify the type that is XSI type and uh, that means we are going to use the database logging here that means we are going to store log logs to our database and then once uh, if we want to log our data to log messages to the database then we need to have a connection string so connection string equal to and we are going to get the connection string from config setting colon item and uh, we in order to have this variable available to the nlog.config file we need to install the nlog.extensions.login in logging nuget package which we will be installing shortly equal to and this gives direct access to our app settings.json file now we can bring in this uh, connection strings here connection strings dot default connection so connection strings dot default default connection after that we need another thing here that thing is db provider we are a bid here we need to specify the full name space here so since we are using the uh, sql server here so we have to provide the sql server <coughs> uh, db provider here uh, yes so we have to microsoft dot data dot sql client dot sql connection and Microsoft dot data dot SQL client. So these are the two full name space we need to provide here, and we also need to install this package Microsoft dot data dot SQL client, which we will be doing shortly. After then, we have a command text here. Command text equal to and this is a query so we will be writing a query to insert our log into the database insert into we will be creating our logs tables insert into logs now we're gonna lock couple of things here we want to store the date here date we want to store the log label label we want to store the actual message here this analog also provide us the machine name m-a-c-h-i-n-e machine name the machine that produces the uh, uh, logs msc and machine name and then we can also log get the information about the log or the object that is producing the logs messages and we are going to pass the values here and in order to pass the value we are going to use the parameterized query so we are going to specify parameter here label at the rate message at the rate msc and machine name at the rate logger once we have a parameter we need to provide those parameters here so we can <coughs> give parameter using parameter parameter tag name equal to the name of our parameters that is the date at the rate date and the value comes from the layout layout equal to and then dollar now first of all we need date and uh, let's say we want to store the long date here so long long date and uh, these values in the layout comes in the form of the string and if we define the columns of our table as a date time then we need to specify the data type of this variable and the which is which can be specified by db type let's specify this as a date time now this is our first parameter now let's duplicate this and make other parameters here label and label gives the label now we don't need to have this uh, db type here so let's remove these all at once and then the third one is the message actual exception message or the log message MSSG message and other one is the machine name MSG machine name and this msc -E 
machine name variable gives us the name of the uh, machine that is producing the log exceptions by the way you will get uh, all these information from the n log documentations that i showed you in the previous uh, uh, video logger l o g g e r logger now we have set up our config file now we need to specify the rules for this uh, and let's specify let's duplicate this and then we give it the name of the asterisk we want to uh, trace or the lock from the trace level minimum level and we want to write this to the, the our database target d a t a b a s e database target let's save this and then we need to install the two new get packages here let's install those new get packages and i'm also going to start the sql management server sql management studio since we are going to create the database table very soon so we need microsoft.data.sql client package let's install this and then we need another package here n log dot extensions dot logging n log dot extensions dot logging so let's install this so this has also installed successfully now we need to create our database table here so our sql management server studio has started up and i have already created the query uh, for this come on so this is a query this is a query to create a log table here uh, i'm going to select the database we are using the web api demo database now we have a date and this are uh, the data type of this date field is date time that's why we have specified here uh, the db type to date time so if you keep this uh, uh, as a string or n varchar then we don't need to provide this uh, db type otherwise we need to provide it and then let's remove this let's select so we don't have anything here at right at the moment now uh, i think i have done every steps so our product controller is already logging the exception here so in the get method we threw the exception in the um, previous video and we are logging that exceptions uh, uh, here so let's run the application and try it out So it has started up and let's uh, navigate to the api slash product the url that is uh, producing the exception and logging it and then let's do execute so it has thrown the exception let's go to the database and let's select and then here we go we see the exceptions uh, but uh, we see th this is our actual exception error occurred we can verify that from our controller here error occurred but we also got a whole bunch of other messages info info messages uh, and uh, this is because we are logging uh, from the base level that is the logging from the minimum level and if we just want to uh, tra you know, log the error message then we can convert this label to the error and then only error message will get logged into the database let's check this out so let's try it execute and then it has produced the exception let's go over to the database again and let's select and this time we see only the error message the other messages are not repeating in this way we can change the uh, level of the error that we want to lock so this is it in this pr uh, video friends and thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to share and subscribe have a great day